has to be something better than man. Has to be. And the superior beings are apes. Rebox transforms the motion picture screen into Planet of the Apes. So I'm going to be talking about original Planet of the Apes film because I want to do it years later on 2011 Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk about the whole franchise. It's only like nine movies and then I could rank them by the end of it. Probably in like, I don't know, June or something. It really depends how I schedule this because I could talk about every one of them in one video or I don't know. I don't have any plans for that, but I'll just talk about the first movie all alone. Planet of the Apes, the original. It was one of those movies that I knew about because of the end. So going into watching it for the first time, this is my first watch. I knew the ending. I think I was in school watching top 10 twists and like movies planet of the apes was like one or two the ending is that you know this planet is not another planet it's actually earth and our main character two things that i completely forgot about but the main guy is like frustrated and angry because mankind destroyed humanity and now there's these talking apes that can do stuff and so because of that i was waiting for that but although okay let's see what this film has to offer let's see what's it about you know how it came to this point three characters they're up in space now apparently they were up in space for a year because they don't know what earth looks like they like crash landed on like just kind of out of nowhere and so they had to get out of the ship that sinking and they think oh they're on another planet it's not earth they want to get home that's like the main point the main arc of these characters well one of them the other two they're like vegetable don't care about them but the one main guy who again the name i completely forgot about mission is to get back to earth and so like the first 20 minutes 25 minutes it is a lot of walking camp and walk and walk i was like oh no this is what the film's gonna be about i was like i got worried i was like oh no don't be this at all and then did it me and people did like take their clothes they go skinny dipping which i would never do because i'm too afraid of those like parasites that get inside your ear or body if that's from within the inside like just water late parasites aesthetic things and insects and then the apes themselves now they still look good this one came out in 1968 it still looks pretty damn good like clearly you can tell it's you know it's a prosthetic but it doesn't look bad at all because i thought okay how are the apes gonna look all of them were cg in like the reboot trilogy how are they gonna look in this movie they use what they had and they look pretty damn good and so with them talking our main protagonist thinks this is another planet because talking apes aren't they on earth and so he gets captured they're like ruthless when they're capturing those people for like food or probably bait catch up with them and he's like not cages but uh what the hell are those things called either way they they captured them completely blanked out of my mind what that's actually called but either way they like take me to like the cage one of them shot like some sort of air or something in his throat so he can't speak so this whole time it is a funny bit once he gets captured he's trying to talk to this ape who's like a medic give him a note so he's trying to write down his name and whatnot talk about who he is but every time he does officer ape that's like wants to kill him and punch him because he's a prisoner he's an unknown species and then adding on to the whole you know this isn't earth talk that they like ruled this earth for like years and they've been treated wrongly and it's like you know what it's time to step up and then they step up now they've conquered earth or like this planet if i didn't know the ending of this movie i probably would have been shocked by it honestly because that knowing looking at the little details of like dialogue but like you know again talking apes is a big one them mentioning how it rolled over and took over humans and whatnot little minor details little dialogue being like okay this clearly isn't earth surprise it is there's also a one in here the whole apes i think pointing something at him and he's like caged up in that little thing i saw that from family guy two dirty stinking apes to throw feces at each other <laughs> It's, again, one of those cases where I saw a scene from a movie in Family Guy than an actual movie. So Family Guy, I guess they're the reason watching this. What is that reference from? Planet of the Ape? Never heard of it. I'll watch it later on. Never did until now. But I was like, Captain America, I got that reference. And then that like set piece or like set or whatever they're at looks cool. It's like going down barrelly and then he's hiding in like the little huts and whatnot. Like the actual place or wherever he's at, it looks cool. And then there's like other like little side plot threads of him meeting this lady in this cage who he clearly likes. But then he also likes his ape lady who been helping them and her and i'm assuming her significant other or just friend helps our main protagonist get out so that they don't even be captured or whatnot he has a talk with the main head the head of the family i guess the head of the, the apes and whatnot and basically it all boils down to the fact that they don't like human beings they despise them because again like i said earlier they probably treated them not so well and because they've overthrown and they can talk and handle technology and whatnot like you know what get rid of all humans there's even a certain point where our main protagonist is willing to like just kind of talk to them and work things out but at a certain point he's like nope they're treating me badly time to fight back fight fire with fire there's also like a mad max fairy road cage scene like there's this cage in the middle of nowhere and it just reminded me of mad max i don't know what the context was but i think the apes had the humans fighting for their lives little hut cage just like reminded me of mad max and then our main protagonist who you know what but this whole damn video is gonna be me like the protagonist before i learn his name it's taylor or tyler it's taylor it has an aid so taylor the only name i'm gonna remember main head captured up with the aid of the two apes that want to help them because they feel bad for humanity the funny thing is apes and humans they're kind of you know similar in a way 
you know, we are kind of careless apes in a way. So the fact that this head is like humans, it's just kind of funny. Just thinking about it proactively, just like, oh yeah, you guys are kind of the same thing, you know, but I, I, he just hates them. Yeah, all right. Someone unties them, but they go off on a horse shore. A bunch of ape soldiers are gonna come and ambush them, but the, the head is like, no, stop it. He, he's gonna fight something by the end of the shore, which is the ending. And then they go back, they arrest one of the apes because they defied them. And then this is horse on the beach walking and I already know it's like coming up. And then when he sees the Statue of Liberty, which is a cool image stuck under this beach and water's coming and waves are coming and him kneeling down yelling how humanity just basically doomed itself created these apes and finding out that he was on earth this whole time because he wanted to go home but his mission was already completed because he was already there it's still a cool reveal i think it kind of what helps this move kind of be in like top five twist it is a really good twist kind of ruined it for myself probably would have made a bigger impact on me if i didn't see it but still cool and honestly it should have ended there but it seems like this movie has like the studio saw that this movie made money because of the ending and then they're like okay we'll just make more sequels and it seems like the later sequels in this original five you know movie it seems like they made one a year after another so it seems like with this they were like milking out these franchises being like yeah we're just gonna milk this out so i'm interested to see if the sequels either hold up or just become redundant and they don't make any sense because the writers have to write this quick they have to make it within like a year time frame and then they have to get it out because the studio wants it because it's very successful so interested to see the downfall or just how boring it is by the end who knows in this original like five movie thing but there's like two remakes there's the 2001 and then 2011 that a reboot as well and then that's a trilogy so in the end the planet of the apes 1968 the original the very first film is still good you know after all these years it is a bit meandering in the beginning but once it goes on good and i do think that this movie is praised just because of that ending which is a really good twist and ending but the movie as a whole is you know just good i'm not i don't really latch onto any character at all taylor isn't like my favorite character of all time the apes and how they look still look pretty damn cool and it sets up a pretty interesting mythology with the sequels coming up but i don't think it needed sequels at all should just be one movie but you know once something makes money so you're just gonna want to milk all of that so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching